March is Youth Art Month. It is a perfect time to learn and explore your inner artist by taking classes here at the Columbia Arts Center. Along with me have Monica Herbert, Day and Youth Programmer, to discuss more about the classes offered here for the teens. I have to say there are wonderful art pieces around. Can you please tell me a little bit more about this? Sure. This is a show called Making the Invisible Visible. It's a reaction from Long Reach High School art students about um, the children soldiers uh, in Uganda, in the Ugandan War. And uh, we have another show that features our students that take classes here actually at the Art Center. They're right over here if you'd like to take a look. Wow. Now, this is the kind of art that I will personally hang in my bedroom. This art was actually produced by the students in our Visiting Artist series. We have guest artists come when the children are out of school and they come and they learn how to do a different type of art technique. Okay. Um, can you tell us more about the classes? Sure. This is um, actually an example of our comic workshop. Uh, the prints up above are from our student art attack program that comes here twice a month. And you're going to be meeting Clinton and Chris to talk to you more about some of the teen pro programs that we offer. And I'll meet you downstairs in the ceramics department when you're done. All right. Sounds great. Hi, Mr. White. Hi. How are you doing? Well, and yourself? Good. Good, good. I'm really interested in taking this class. Do you create your own comics? Yes, I do. Uh, I create a lot of comics in my own free time. I also do web comics online. I create them, write them, and draw them myself. What aspects of cartooning do you cover in your workshop? Uh, we cover a whole bunch of things, starting from creating a story, creating a character, then writing it, drawing it, and making a full finished comic. I try to cover the whole spectrum of comics, from Western superhero comics, Japanese manga style comics, and Saturday morning cartooning. Okay. Does this class include having to create your own characters, and do you have to be an artist to take this class? Uh, yes, the kids will create their own characters along with a story, and then they'll do comics about their original characters. I expect that you know some of the basics with drawing coming into this class, because this class focuses on doing cartooning and actually making the comics. Thank you for your time, Mr. White. You're welcome. Now I'm off to learn more about costume designing. Cool. Mr. Chris, how are you? Hi, Dwayne. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Um, costuming seems like an interesting class. Can you tell us about your background in theater? Sure. Well, I studied theater in college, and I've been working as a theater artist in Baltimore City uh, for a couple of years now, and it's something that I really enjoy, and I've worked pretty much through every aspect of the process. And so with this class, I'm going to be focusing namely on costuming. Okay. What types of tools will we use to design the costumes? Well, I'm glad you asked. If you take a look here, I've got three different items that I've prepared here. Uh, we're going to be using found items, such as this scarf, for example. Now, this is something that I just had lying around. <laughs> and the cool thing about this is we could find this at a thrift store or in an old closet. And it could literally be hundreds and hundreds of things. It could be a belt. It could be a hat. It could be a sash. It could be a, uh, some, sort of, uh, some sort of shawl, some sort of cape. Then you have other items like this one that are specifically sought out, specifically bought. Uh, this particular one uh, I got from a costume shop, I think, uh, very cheaply. But what you usually want to do is you want to start with one uh, central item that you sort of build the costume from, and that's going to be the main, the main thing that sort of sells the whole thing. Okay. And the last bit that we're focusing on is, of course, made items. This particular mask here was made by uh, somebody here at the Art Center, and uh, it appears to be of a lion. And so something like this would be a, uh, an excellent central piece to a costume adding on to this. Will the students have the chance to create their own costumes by the end of class? Absolutely. That's going to be our final culminating thing is that the students are going to decide what they want their costume to look like, what sort of pieces they want to work in, and then we're going to build one and it's going to be great. It's going to be really intense and awesome. Well, that sounds exciting. Off to meet Ms. Monica about the ceramic classes. Okay. Take Thank care, Dwayne. Nice meeting you. Hey, Dwayne. So what did you think? Um, well, the ceramics look very nice, and I'm really impressed with the classes that they have offered here for the teens. Where can we go to find out more information about this? We have a website for the Art Center, and we also have a Facebook page. All right, thank you again for your time. Thank you. Back to you, Denitra.